Hello everybody, welcome to WDHS Esports team, as today we have WDHS versus ACIT. Colin, you want to go over our lineup? Sure thing. First off, we have the captain of the squad, Jason DiMatessa, on the uh, otherwise known as Hipster in the game. We have Carolyn Daisy, otherwise known as Eudings. Mike Bunker, otherwise known as Fuish. Greg Honeycutt, otherwise known as Cut the Third. And joining us today as a substitute for a Goose, who could unfortunately not make it today, we have Julia Chuffo, known in-game as Frog. No. How do you anticipate this match going, Ryan? Well, last week's match was very interesting in how uh, the maps chosen by the teams ended up being their downfall. So it'll be interesting to see how West Effort goes about the map choice this time, seeing how they would end up losing their possible win. Uh, against Hunterton last week, making their uh, record now 1-0-1. Oh, and, and to remind the folks at home, uh, West Effort last week faced a Hunterton in a game. First game they won dominantly, 13-1. to one. But in the second game, they faltered a bit. They uh, they went down 3-10 to 10 before coming back to make the score 9-11, to 11, but ultimately, ultimately still losing the match to Hunterton. A tough loss in West Effort by the second match to even up the score. And we are just waiting on one more person on the uh, ACIT side of things to join in here before we get started. As well as the uh, coach for ACIT. Well, uh, sometimes teams don't have a coach. We have a coach right now because he's our spectator for the game. But uh, not every team has a coach. Sometimes it's just a group of kids from the school. And... Uh, uh, I think it might be a little bit before we get our last player in here. So I think we're just going to be right back as soon as they get in here. So our technical issues have been sorted out and we are just about ready to get into the game here. About 20 seconds as our WDHS eSports squad is picking their characters. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a lineup of Breach, Jet... Select your agent. Uh, how do you pronounce that, Colin? Looks like Reyna. Reyna, uh, Sage, and Omen. Omen. And the map will be Haven. And this is a map that is very attacker uh, advantage. Because there is three sites here. So that means the attacker will have more choices to go towards. And the defense will have to be ready to go to any of those points at any moment. I'd also like to add that uh, in last week's game, West Effort actually won on this right match, choice. I believe so, uh, in their first out of two matchups against uh, Hunterton. Yeah, I believe you are correct in that assessment, sir, as it looks like we are just about to get into the game here. The first round is about to start. As the, we are in the bye phase, about 20 seconds to go until the map starts here. Everybody just getting ready here. Everybody setting up on point. And it looks like West Effort is about to go for a little bit of a spread here. Setting two people around a C. Because they are starting off on defense. So they're going to be under a little bit of a disadvantage here. Two people to C. Uh, one person on B. And then two people on A. As West Effort just waiting for their target to come in. Yeah, and here you see how it's attacker based with the large amount of entryways for the attacking side to get and uh, get so it's, like it's going to be going C as the smoke is thrown down. Rice gets the all-important opening kill on Fuish as F3 Fear Beast takes out another one of West Effort's players here. Spike planted. In the pistol round, this is a very important round because whoever has this will have the money advantage going on. West Effort, Omen, now low on health. Cut to third, just trying to get a pick in here. Blinding. Looking very bad for West Effort right now. Two players low health left. Last player standing. And this is the all important first round. So West Effort uh, is going to lose all their players without getting a single kill on the other team. As we're getting a note from our producer that this does not look good for West Effort so far. Yeah, it's a very impressive start by uh, ACIT here. And West Effort's going to need to come back big after. Uh, very nice showing like that in the very first round. Although, it, as we've said before, this map is very attacker advantageous. So, if West Ever can just make it to the switch here, they might have a chance to win this thing. 
Yeah, we are getting a note from our producer. Uh, he says yeesh. So, I think that tells you all you need to know about how that first round went for our squad here as we move into round two. Looking at another setup on C. As there's a trade there, uh, here he's taking a leash as uh, ACIT gets three more kills quickly on a West effort. Just completely dominating the game so far. Cut to third, the only member standing as the spike is planted. He's now trying to get good movement around the side, hoping to ambush the other team. He just needs to take this to uh, and he gets killed right there. To West Effort going down 2-0 to oh to ACIT. What would ACIT only time? losing Have one person in the first emerging? two rounds. A bad start for West Effort here. And a great start for ACIT as their economy is now through the roof with uh, little loss of weapons due to a lack of deaths on their side. As we have Frog here, just looking to maybe place a wall here at this entrance, block off point B. Maybe you give West Effort a little bit of a defensive advantage Together. here. Yeah, they've been continuing the strategy uh, from the start, hoping that maybe uh, the attacking side does not choose the same bomb site as before. Potentially could work, could not. We'll see how they choose. I mean, they have chosen C for the past two rounds in a row. As we are getting a uh, technicality from producer here, as Rice gets an opening kill on the cut the third. Spike planted. Right now, it's looking pretty even between the two sides, although the spike has been planted, adding an extra advantage to the attacking side, who now only needs to defend the bomb side. Yes, as West Effort is reloading their weapons. They are down. As the as Frog gets an evening kill right there. They need to get on this point as it's taken out. West Ever 2-2 two to two, needs to get to the spike. As they lose two more people and go down 3-0 to oh in dominant fashion to ACIT here. Yeah, and showing there how very useful SMGs can be in a close combat scenario. West Effort just needs anything here. Just needs to get a kill and then just move in slowly. That's what's worked for them last week. And they just haven't been following that strategy this week. They're not being patient and they're not uh, just being calm and steady in these high pressure situations. And we're going to see it opening up again. West Effort seems very, very keen to defend B here. They just want to block off this point. Does not seem that focused on A or C. When that has been where ACIT has gone for the first two rounds. Yeah, it's very, very easy to push those side routes rather than up the middle. Uh, so I can see why ACIT is doing this. And once again, we can see West Effort push off of the site. As, uh, ACIT One enemy remains. is now down. And West Effort takes the round. West Effort getting a big round victory over that. That could swing things and make this a little bit more of an even game right here. West Effort, what they did was beautiful. They just played patient. They stayed back. They got a kill when they could. And they weren't too aggressive because that's where we've seen them being uh, taking mistakes so far in this game. There's being too aggressive, moving in too much, and just getting taken out. Yes, West Effort doing very good against the push there onto the other site. West Effort still just defending B. I think we're seeing a little bit of a preference towards C here for ACIT. And West Effort knows that and sees an ACIT player moving towards a C point right here. Might be a battle off of that uh, long off of C. Potentially a sniper battle or could be just a bit of a trick for a rotation. Hips are doing some knife tricks here as it looks like uh, ACIT will just be rotating around here, looking for a point of entry. Still, and muting spots them. His position is smoked off, and immediately ACIT takes the advantage by taking out uh, one West Effort player. And Tyler has just been so good on getting these opening kills, just finding that out in the open, and just picking up on West Effort's mistakes. Mutings just seems keen to just throw these snowballs in here and wait as ACIT gets another two kills and another kill to end the round. A three advantage again for ACIT. West Effort just, they need to play more patient, be more careful, and just not get taken out in silly ways. And in that...
pass case, so we saw bullet accuracy really does matter there as uh, both both uh, West Effort and ACIT in that case had equal opportunities to get each other, although there. ACIT just made their there. shots count for more. Yes, it, it, West, uh, ACIT just seems more <laughs> accurate overall than West Effort. West Effort just wasting some bullets there, shooting them at the wall even though the round has not started. As they're just peeking around, Hipster just seems keen to just hunt around, try to get that opening kill, and then retreat back like a snake. Yeah, West Effort hoping to get these pushes through mid so they can hopefully uh, surprise the other side. Fweesh gets the opening kill on a rice to give West Effort the advantage here. And it looks like Jet is using their ultimate ability of some sort. As ACIT gets another three kills, West Effort answering with two more by Hipster. Three kills for the round for him now, as West Effort is up three to one. Now West Effort has to be very careful here, although they do manage to get the kill. Four kills for Hipster in that round, just the dominant round. His hunting and his prowling around are just very effective against the... Uh, against the ACIT here. And there we saw the being prepared at mid uh, being towards the advantage of West Effort, finally after all this buildup. So West Effort, I like their strategy here. They're blocking off uh, B point right away. So just taking that point out of the game and making it essentially a game of A or C, trying to give themselves the advantage here on defense. Although it is notable to uh, notice that Jet is on the other team, and mobility can pass through to B if uh, B no longer faces any protection from a West Effort player. A very, very quick opening kill by uh, ACIT there onto West Effort. West Effort just peeking around, trying to even it out before they move in further. As Rice gets another kill onto Ewings. ACIT now with a 5-3 to three advantage here. Not looking very good for West Effort right now, although we've seen... West Effort come back from spike these types planted. of chances. As the spike is planted there, and Udings will get revived. So West Effort evening things out a little bit as Cut the third gets taken out. That is a tough loss for West Effort here. Hipster looking to break past this wall and get a kill. But they are slowed right now. As Hipster gets taken out. Frog gets a kill, but it Last may not be enough. Standing. As the spike has already been planted, and West Effort has to get in there, kill him, and disarm him still. As Rice gets a fourth kill. Uding's very unlucky there, breaking the wall and completely exposing himself Let's with no way games. to defend. West Effort down again by three points. They're keeping themselves in the game, but they're not giving themselves the advantage, which they, which they need to do if they want to win this thing here. But, as we've said before, this is an attacker-based map where... Once the switch happens, West Effort could be on the advantage, and these couple of wins can come in very big for this team. You ever notice how Breach kind of looks like RoboCop? Yeah. Because he has the robotic hand, he has a robotic gun thing on his uh, hand. It's a very interesting design for him. As Fuish is peeking around the corners. Frog seems keen to just stay with the, the hatchet. RoboCop taking some damage. Everybody moving very cautiously here. Nobody wants to be the first one on their team to die as our producer cuts between the shots very, very quickly. He himself probably wondering where is the other team as they try to bait out West Effort. No kills yet, although our jet is taking some damage here. That is Fuish. So it seems like they may be going towards A point right here. No, no entry just yet. Just playing very, very slow. Muting's trying to see if they can get an angle on this ledge. As, it, uh, as ACIT gets an opening kill on the Fuish, and Tyler gets two more. West Effort now down horrendous. Three players down. The spike has also been planted. I don't know how he got behind him there. Muting's did kill. teleport using uh, Omen's ability to get behind, and once the smoke did clear, he did get a very... Lucky kill, uh, despite the great number of opposing players on that bomb site. Robocop needs to get in there and kill them and disarm the spike before this round is over. Tall order for Robocop, but no order is tall enough for the legend. And I think it should be noted that they are on 69 health. 
Nice. Uh, what the the spike is about to go off. It looks like a lost round for West Effort here. Is looks like Cut is Cut is going to save here, uh, making sure that his economy is still maintained despite losing the round. Yeah, a, a smart strategy, we honestly. We move in. Got it. As we are in the buy phase again here, and Cut the third will have an advantage, as opposed to anyone who could not get away from the spike for uh, ACIT there. Robocop just has his knife out, peeking around. Being a cyborg, you know, it's a, it's a tough job to be police and also be half robot, half man, as was seen in the hit film from the 80s. I have no input. I think it was a hit film from the 80s. I completely agree with the statement. I'm glad we both agree that Robocop was a hit film from the 80s. Rice getting the opening kill onto Hipster there. ACIT with a four, five to four player advantage here. Yuting just trying to get an open kill with that sniper. As it looks like, they, oh, they just dodged every kill. That was nasty. Bullet. By ACIT. Well, one shot would have been a kill Ooh. there. Fweesh with the flick. Although they are going to get flicked themselves by Fear Beast as Frog takes out the uh, their killer right there. Frog in a 1v3 situation as. They take out one, but cannot take out the whole team. West Effort is going to lose another round here to go down seven to two. <sighs> okay, we know the drill. Yeah, if I'm West Effort right now, we'll crush it. I just got to hope for a couple of wins, just so when the attacking phase does happen for them, they can have that advantage against ACIT. Here. They just need to keep it close here. Maybe they'll do better on their attack. They did look pretty good in their attack for uh, the first uh, game of two against Hunterdon. They won that game dominant fashion, 13-1. So West Ever may just be an attacker better team. As Yuting just in that high corner looking for a pick with her sniper rifle as Fuish is going to get picked off with a sniper rifle himself. But Hipster answering back against Fear Beast. Looking very even between the two sides right now. And it looks like West Effort thinks that, uh, that they are going to C-point. But the spike has not yet been planted, though. Could be a fake plant and a rotation over to possibly A site or B site. No, nobody would lie on the internet, Ryan. No. Nobody lies in real life, either. Uh, kids, your parents have never lied to you. Ever. As Robocop is going to shoot some type of metallic bullet from his arm. As West Effort now tied 3-3. Three to three. But ACIT has still not planted the spike, and they're down players 3-2 to two right now. 40 seconds left in the round. With the pressure of both time and health, ACIT is now very in need of planting the spike, or else this is a lost round for them, and West Effort takes a well-earned round here. Rice has gotten three kills no already, so we are on ace alert right now. Rice, if he gets the last two kills here, he could get an ace, but we obviously don't want that for West Effort to win this round. 13 seconds. We are into the, the milliseconds here seconds left. before uh, ACIT is planning the spike. And West Effort looks like they don't know what point they're on. They're rushing to C point. Looks like there has been a call out as they do One not get the spike remaining. planted. Wow, they just ran out of time there. And also... Uh, it's notable that West Effort did take out both members of ACIT, meaning that they pretty much lost and made no money off of the round or saved any money, uh, ruining their economy and putting West Effort in a good spot now with momentum. Yes, I would agree that West Effort is now in a better spot now that they've won that last round. Now only down four with eight seconds left till the next round starts. West Effort is trying to stay in the game before the, uh, the side switch here, which will happen very soon. And in such a case, we will see, hopefully see for West Effort, a switch in the balance of wins. Yes. I, I hope that West Effort will win these games. Yes. As somebody who roots for, actively roots for West Effort, I hope that West Effort wins. I also hope that West Effort wins these games as Hips are just looking for that opening kill again. Just, they just can't find anything here as Rice gets... A kill, and Tyler also gets a kill. West Effort now down 4-3. to three After another answer by Frog, and Hipster gets one onto Good Evening. 
Spike not a good evening, evening for him. Yes, it, you could even say it was a bad evening as Hipster gets a third kill in this round. Not going to be the ace if they get another kill, but... Go, good ink! Hipster, four kills, needs to disarm the Spike still. Wow! A shocking turn of events. Let's just recap that for you folks. It was 3-1 to one for West Effort. Gooding got two kills, but Hipster took him out to win the round for West Effort. West Effort now only down by three, and the switch will be coming in after this round. Yeah, very impressive round by West Effort there to really bring momentum into their uh, last round as defenders and good momentum into their attacking phase. It's going to be a very interesting first uh, game here, seeing how West Stafford is now very much in this game. Yes, they could go all out here in this, in, this, in this round to try to win it just before the swap. Only be down by two, and we'll have the advantage as an attacker. Looking like a bit of a B-push here. As Frog, just an errant ball, throwing it off the wall there. Not a good throw. Udings. Just peeking around those corners, cut the third. As Uding gets an opening kill on the good ink. A, a big advantage here for West Effort here in the last round before the, they switch sides. Uding is on low health now after that first kill. Yes, low health is way better than dead. Yes. Fuish just looking for that kill. 40 seconds down and ACIT is still not committed to any point yet. West Effort is spreading their players between, just Healing. looking for where uh, ACIT wants to open on to. In these strategy games, it makes sense to prolong the planting of the spike to keep your keep the enemy side confused, but it seems as though ACIT has been pushing this off too far to a point where they can no longer plant the spike, and the situation is no longer advantageous. Oh. As a headshot from Hipster, that was a another headshot from Hipster. Hipster is popping off here. One enemy. A third kill for Hipster as the West Effort wins three rounds in a row before the swap happens. Very, very good momentum for West Effort here as they are going to be switching on to the attacking side. Yeah, very, very nice ending there, especially by Hipster. Showing right now just amazing work. It's insane how, uh, how well this team does under pressure, and you can really see how morale and team skills everything goes into this and just how impressive this team truly is you know what ryan i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it that shot by hipster the headshot very close range with a sniper one of the best plays of valorant i've ever seen in my entire life yes i have only watched three games of valorant so i don't know how high of a uh, a mark that is but pretty good yes and as somebody who plays csgo i think that was also very impressive Yes, Ryan, we know you play CSGO as Hipster just moving on to uh, point A here. Hipster takes a shot already down to very, very low health. Fuish just staying inside the cover of the ball. Good Ink gets the opening kill as West Effort is planning the spike here. West Effort have been shown to be very, very aggressive on offense. Just going in, planning the spike, and making a... Uh, ACIT react to that. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, ACIT is going to win that round there as they just there. are more and more calculated than West Effort. Yes, West Effort tried to get off the plant there, but they did not have enough time and the bomb just sat there on the spot with nobody to pick it up or plant it, leading yeah. to a disaster of a round for West Effort. However, they're still in a very nice spot right now, uh, being very close to ACIT. Yeah, if I was the coach for West Effort, I would just tell them to tell the players to plant the bomb. Because to win on attack, you need to plant the bomb. So, plant the bomb, I think, would be the best strategy. Right up there with kill the bad guys. Yeah, just kill the other team, plant the bomb. Simple things that we should all be doing when we play Valorant. Only Valorant. Only Valorant. Good Ink getting a kill onto a Fuish as Tyler gets a kill on the Hipster. ACIT, very good on defense so far. Rice getting a kill on a cut the third. They've just been spreading out their kills. I don't think anyone has had a double kill this round. Just being very careful, going in when they need to. As Udings does have a little pig charm on their gun, which I think is pretty cute. I think it's more interesting. I think it's cute, not interesting, and I think you're wrong. 
I think we can agree to disagree. I think we can agree. Anyway, Udix looking for a kill. Spike they do down. get a kill, but their only ally, Frog, gets taken out. Now, it is a little bit better to be uh, by yourself on attack than it is on defense. Because you just have the freedom to move wherever you want, but on defense, you have the clock ticking down constantly. As Fear Beast takes out Udings, two wins now on defense for uh, for uh, ACIT. Yes, yeah, so ACIT is showing that defensive side uh, being their advantageous side on this map. West Everett is looking around. They're down four here. They're, this game still is very much in contention for them right now. Frog just sprays on the wall some kind of uh, spray paint. Looks like Robocop is just running into that wall there. Yeah. Just very excited to get into. Battle. Robocop seemingly not willing to place vandalism there. And seems more willing to kill, which is movie accurate, I guess. There's two big purple balls appear on the screen as two members of West Effort are immediately taken out. Yeah, West Effort tried to look here and tried to go for a C plant with A not being as successful in the past. Uh, however, this plant did not work as ACIT was also in. And. Oh! Wow. A Team Ace, which means. Uh, Nice Every player on ACIT one got one kill there. So, an impressive round just spreading the love around. And I want to mention here, I don't think it's good to go for a C plant. Just because there, there's no oceans on this map at all. So, I don't even know how they would get into the water to plant the bomb there. And the salt water would probably mess with the wiring too. Is West Effort, eight seconds ready to get into the round. But they are down by five. How do you blow up an ocean? Uh, you can't. The ocean blows you up as... West Ever just starting here, looking like they're going to see. And they're just peeking around the corner, trying to get that opening kill, which is oh so important in this game. As the smoke is thrown yeah. down long, and it looks like West Ever might. It's looking like they could switch onto A site here. And uh, I think you may be right that they are switching onto A. Cut the third look for the opening kill, and Shotgun gets taken out by Tyler Rez. Wow, three quick kills by ACIT there. Just had West Everett all grouped up and took the, uh, the advantage while that happened. Last player standing. This hipster, the last player standing, but he is one of the better players as he gets the opening kill. That's a good evening there. Now it's a 1v2, a very, uh, very workable situation for hipster now. Hipster still has the spike, so they they can they still have an opportunity here if they can plant the spike without the uh, enemy team noticing. But it does look like they have noticed them. One enemy remaining. Hipster just needs one more kill here to win this round. Cannot plant the spike in fear of uh, getting taken out while being very still. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. They need to plant the spike soon. It looks like they may be going towards B. A bold move here as B does have a lot of openings where an enemy can shoot you from. But they have got the, the spike off. As we are getting a note from our producer here to keep the sarcasm and irony in check. Too much not funny. Uh, thank you, Mr. Producer. Hipster, just looking around for that kill. Just, they're inside a ball of purple right now, it seems. As there was a little peak of the enemy there. Very stressful right now for Hipster. And it is a 1v1 Reyna. That Hipster! Finds the uh, the kill onto Fear Beast. It was a 3v1 situation there, and Hipster got every single one of them. A great round by Hipster there. Yeah, some a very impressive round by Hipster, bringing back the team and hopefully adding some momentum to their squad now as they can hopefully bounce back from the couple rounds deficit that they took uh, starting off on attack. I would definitely agree with you, Ryan. Six seconds left until we get into our uh, 17th round here. West Effort just trying to bring this game back and to make it close again, as they did before the switch happened. Fear Beast gets a kill on Fuish there. Not a good start for West Effort. West Effort just peeking around those corners, trying to get one more kill into here. Get the advantage back for them. 
Cutting yeah, so Stafford being very cautious after times past showing that rushing in is not the best way to go about this. Yeah, Stafford rushing in and getting killed. Mid. Probably not the best way to go about this as they take up the spike. There's a bomb of some sort. Fuish on half health. Everything's going wrong. As ACIT gets a flawless round. Just not a good round from West Effort. Yeah, one win by West Effort followed by a very bad punch in the gut. Yeah, you could even say punch in the face as uh, ACIT is two rounds away from winning this first game. And th we are playing best of two here, so West Effort, if ACIT wins, the best that they could possibly yeah. hope for is a tie yeah. in this game. Similar to how they drawed Hunterton last week. So West Effort, if if they uh if they got a tie here, they would have more ties than wins, which that's just that's a, that's ugly as a scoreline. But rather that than a loss, I would say. Sure. As hips are just looking for an opening kill with their uh, their sniper rifle here. Cut the third, getting the opening kill on a good evening. A, a huge advantage for West Effort here to try to bring this game back. It's cut the third, gets another kill here. West Effort now taking A site now. Yes, the spike is being planted as their location is revealed. I believe it was already obvious due to the many deaths in the area. Well, Ryan, they don't need your advice, okay? Uh, as it looks like West Effort just getting taken out there by Rice. Now it's a 3v3. A 3v2, a 3v1, a 3 versus 0. As uh, it looks like ACIT is just going to disarm the bomb here. A bad round for West Effort. Started out in a 5v3 situation and lost five players. But very impressive for Rice on the other side who managed to almost clear out the bomb site all by himself with the Match help of point. their side's jet. Uh, very impressive round by them. Yes, a good round by Rice as Frog picks up the spike. West Effort needs to win s eight rounds in a row now because you have to win by two in a game of Valorant. The ACIT is one round away from winning this first overall game. Which will lead to a great push in momentum for their side. Well, yes, they would make sure that they cannot lose this game now as yep. it is best of two. It, uh, it would be bad for West Effort if uh, ACIT won this round here. Yeah, since it is in all uh, competitive games, winning is good, losing is bad. Hipster is dead. Headshot. So sad. Fuish gets a, 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 a trade kill onto uh, uh, Cover going whatever out. their name is. As Fuish just wasting all of their knives. Just They do not want to have any knives. Just get all those knives out of here as West Effort will get two more kills. Now, we've oh, saw them fumble the bag before when they're up by two kills. Will they do it again? Let's right hope there. not. As a huge around the corner, and Fuish is going to get taken out. West Effort, do not choke this, please. Get out of my way. West Effort playing One a lot more remaining. risky in their, uh, their more recent attempt on Site B uh, due to just how much pressure is on their wins now. Yeah, the spike is ticking down, but West Effort, they have gotten a lot of their players taken out as another one gets taken out. Fear Beast, the chance for the ace here if, if they win the round. Versus Robocop. Versus Robocop himself. Robocop stabbing! The, the, the knife! Robocop the, the knife! knife! The knife kill for West Effort. And, uh, uh, that, is, that is stellar. That is amazing. We love the knife kill here in West Effort a HS Esports High School. Uh, uh, stream. Yes, very impressive. Cut the third saying in the chat worth, which I completely agree with them. Just shock and awe all over the Valorant screen after the melee kill there. Unprecedented, you could say. If West Effort does not win this game, we can truly say that West Effort is one in our hearts. If West Effort does not win this game, then they have lost this game. West Effort is looking for an opening kill here, trying to do the same thing they did last round is cut the third. On a, on a mad streak right now. Can he get another melee kill this round? We can only hope. Frog just looking around. They're capturing an orb of some sort. I don't know what that was for, but they have the orb now. 
Oh, my good ink gets two kills. Now it's a 3v3 for West Africa. Not a good way to continue this round for them. They have just two walls there. And nobody likes a wall, as you could ask Berlin about that. 2v2 situation for West Effort is Rice is going to take out Frog to give ACIT the advantage here and maybe the win. Yuting's the last one left here, trying to play more defensive as the bombs are planted. Rice will take out Yuting's there. West Effort is going to lose this round and lose the overall match. Uh, a, a tough defeat for West Effort here in the first one. Now it is best of two, so West Effort only able to tie or lose this game at this point. Still a very impressive showing off of a map chosen by the other team. We'll see how West Effort does in the next game. Hipster, a very good map for him, but the, the MVP for ACIT was just Rice in this situation. A, a, a six-point loss for West Effort here, as we will be back with the second map of two shortly.
I'm sorry, folks, as our mics happen to be muted for the whole first half of that game. You couldn't hear all of our thrilling commentary as West Effort just... Is, uh, for those who don't know, West Effort is at a 5-1 to one advantage. As a good evening, getting the opening kill on to cut the third. And as you might have seen, uh, Grinch was subbed into West Effort's team. Yes, hipster. Getting a Grinch, it's a 2v2, but Grinch may be disabled, and they got killed here. West Effort, 5-2. to two. For those who weren't listening, which would be all of the audience, because our mics were off, uh, West, uh, West Effort has a 5-4 to four advantage to start off here, because, uh, I need a uh, uh, why not? A ACIT did not have uh, another sub to fill the spot of Rice, who was unable to play in this next round. So, because it is legal in uh, Valorant competitive mode, uh, West Effort is now facing ACIT in a 5v4 situation. Shutting them down. Yes, I know you all enjoyed that peaceful little bit of co uh, gameplay without our commentary over it, but unlucky for you, we have returned with a vengeance. As Udings gets an opening kill on a good EV Ning there to make it a, a 5 to 3 player advantage for West Effort. We now see a very aggressive push by West Effort, just getting in there and completely just. Spike down A. Flanking. One enemy now. remaining. Wrench with two quick kills, but getting taken out by Tyler there. Yeah, two quick ones there, and he already knows he's getting the perfect. Yes, yeah, so Hipster gets the through the wall kill. May have been wall hacks. I, I might have to check that on my uh, cheat on I, I don't think it was because afterwards you can see Hipster move the gun a bit in almost a way of celebration. Uh, I see your point, and I raise to you that they shot them through the wall. I so, fold. Ryan folds, and I have won the round as West Effort winning the round there to make it a 6-2 to two advantage. And that makes our uh, competition here a one to nothing for Collins. And it will stay that way because we are not playing another round as West Effort. Six to two. 140 left in this round because the round has just started. But Murdy with a five to four advantage. Insane how quick they got that advantage, but evening just evens it up. Making uh, making it turn to evening for West Effort because it's nighttime because it's bad for them. West Effort with 115 left in this round. Grinch just looking for another kill here. Just trying to get uh, the advantage back after West Effort so shamefully lost it. Yeah, and West Effort, now that they're truly balanced with uh, ACIT now, well, now behind, uh, playing way more defensive than we've seen in previous rounds. Even though they are on defense, so makes you wonder. Well, in the last couple of rounds, we've seen them push a lot more than before into enemy territory, and now we don't see nearly as much. You will not kill my Ryan, ally. I think I'm going to sit up because my back is hurting. As West Effort now has a four to, four to one disadvantage here, and they get killed. Tyler with three kills that round. ACIT making a solid run right now, uh, on. only it's halving the, the deficit fire. between uh, them and West Effort. But I'd like to remind our audience that West Everett still is ahead by three points right here. And they are starting every round with a 5-4 to four advantage. So as long as they don't fumble the bag completely like they did in the previous round, they should be doing pretty well here. It just all matters off of that first kill because the change in mentality is just, it's mental warfare. It, you don't want to have the mental warfare, boom sorry. happen to you as Ryan inter interrupted me there as the next round will be starting with West Ever already with a quick advantage here, 5 to 4. But the map has been blotted out with some kind of ink, I think. That rhymed. West Effort on A point. Fuish getting a quick kill onto Fear Beast there, 5 to 3 advantage for West Effort. West Effort is peeking around. Another kill as Grinch is going to get it. 5-2 to two advantage. A possibility for a flawless round for West Effort here. Would put uh, ACIT in serious risk of mental booming. As cut the third, going to get a kill onto Tyler there. Yeah, almost shamelessly stealing it from Fuish there. 
that's really sad that Unions had to go and die there because West Effort was really close to a flawless round. And they did win that round to make it 7-3. to three. Only six more rounds needed for them to tie up this game and go home with a tie. Although, uh, West Effort has had a very good economy. So in the case of any death for even a single person, uh, the economy is good enough to bounce right back and bring the advantage back to West Effort. West Effort needs to think outside the box here. As it said, on the sign and use some kind of credit card for Fuish. I don't know why he has a credit card in the game. But you would think he would need a gun, but I'm not the game designer. I just talk about it on stream to nine people. As West Effort, five to four advantage. Just Fuish just waiting around the corner. We see uh, almost a bit of a error with the... There we go, it's switched. Uh, as West Ever two kills here, four to two advantage, but two players very low on health. So it is a little bit of a risky situation. They can't be as aggressive as they wanted. As Fuish just staying in that corner could make you wonder if uh, One enemy remaining. he's glitched out for AFK as Yudings gets another two kills for three kills in that round. He might just be mesmerized by the uh the straight last nature of his gun in, in the that half. Court. This no is the last saving. round before the Send swap. The as West Effort now has a five point advantage possible to go into the swap with six points of advantage. And uh, with hopefully a win in this game for West Effort, it would bring their record to 1 0 oh, 2. And it would bring ACIT's record to 0 oh, 1 and 2. ACIT without a win, this would be big for them, but so how it's going so far, it looks like they will be going home with another tie. But if, if they can get all five players in next week, who knows what could happen to them. Well, we know what could happen. It could be a win, loss, or tie. But, you know, it could be any of those three in any order. In any fashion. In any fashion. Great adage by my partner. That Viper just laying that, uh, that trap of venom on the ground. Similar to the Eminem song. Okay. Tyler getting the kill. Its players there. Four to three advantage for the best effort. Best effort doing very well to clear out the backside, B. although it's now a 2v1 uh, with no low health on uh, Kata right now. But ACIT still has not planted the spike, and they have 50 seconds before the swap happens, which would not be good for uh, ACIT. With West effort, they will have more of an advantage for playing uh, aggressive on uh, attack as opposed to defense. West Effort playing very that cautiously right standing. now. Although now it's in a 1v1. Yes, Grinch just taking the long sidelines trying to get a, a kill onto uh, the Omen here on the other side. However, with his sight lines, he managed to miss Omen getting onto site, which led to the 1v1 situation in the first place. Omen can teleport, which I think it is important to note here. That is how they got onto the point without being seen. Omen still has not planted the Ten spike yet. Do they left. even have the spike? They need to plant it very quickly. But playing the spike could give a West Effort a point to attack. Grinch getting the kill. Six point advantage for West Effort here heading into the swap. Switching sides. Yeah, Grinch not even wanting to use that, uh, use the time to his benefit. Uh, and rather just choosing to go straight up with the kill. So what would you suggest for West Effort as a strategy here going into this uh, this final stretch of their uh, two-match series? I believe aggressiveness can be good, but too much of it can start to blind the team. And it's it's very un it's very easy to underestimate a team who has less players than you. Reloading. So it's just very important to keep a level head. And while playing a bit aggressively, more aggressive than normal, not too aggressive to lead to complete idiotic behavior. Who will I yes, we first? definitely do not want idiotic behavior coming in from West Effort as they are up six to, uh, not by six points, nine to three. <laughs> presence detected for Grinch. You do not want your presence detected. That's usually a bad thing. Unless, you know, you're trying to be spotted, which I don't think you would be. Unless you're... Grinch getting the quick opening kill and Tyler as Mutings gets the kill in the, the Geode Inc. A 5 to 2 advantage for West Effort here, a possibility One to this remaining. round. As Fuish gets another kill on the Fear Beast, planting the spike here, they can just wait for ACIT out right now. 
Seems like West Effort got on there before uh, the enemy team's only could even rotate. And just like that, the round is over from a uh, headshot from Puig. It looks like this game will be ending soon as West Effort is now up 10 to 3. Already having a 5 to 4 advantage over uh, ACIT here. Yes, and so it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, the best result uh, West Effort could get after that first round, a uh, first game loss. Yeah, a very shameful loss by West Effort in the first game. Just It, it was close in some places, but just a, a, a bad game. But it looks like they are bouncing back here in uh, against uh, ACIT. West Effort, it looks like they may be going towards B point for their next point of attack here. If they do get this, uh, this point cleared... And two away from a victory as Good Evening gets an opening kill on the Udings. Just going ragdoll there as ACIT tries to flank around, but Grinch already ready for them. Already got the kill as West Effort up 4-2 to two now. Ready to get their 11th point of this match. Now West Effort starting to push a bit. Uh, into enemy territory, although One enemy remaining. And just like that, two headshots leads to uh, match point. Or, sorry, is it not match point? No, uh, we're two away from match. Two point. points we're, away from match point. We're as close. West but, effort is now at 11. Sorry. Close, but a little, little bit eager there for this game to be over, as I'm sure West effort is and uh, ACIT. Well, ACIT, I mean. Do you have hope at this point? You're down eight points. I think it's always good to keep hope up, but it must be hard for morale to stay high in such a case. Yeah, ACIT absolutely Kill distraught right now, just down by eight points. They're they're in a bad spot. It's really tough for them. And West Effort right now just trying to secure the bag. Yeah, just don't want to fumble it. If if they lost by losing eight points to a team that only has four players. Bad, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen as West Effort gets a trade 4-3 to three right now for them. The Grinch trying to steal Christmas here. Beatings gets a good kill on the good evening. But Tyler gets a kill on the hipster. Tyler gets another kill on the cut to third. 2v2 situation right now. 1v2 now. 1v2. With another. the spike on Uding. With the spike? Uding's another kill on the Fear Beast. 1v1 now with Uding's at about half health. They need to play the spike in the next 50 seconds, but Tyler is going to get the kill there, 11-4. to four. So this would be the start of a comeback if uh, ACIT can win the next uh, nine games straight. They could still win this match, but very unlikely. Very unlikely possibility, but still possible nonetheless. Yes, anything is possible in the words of Kevin Garnett. Mm -hmm. uh, First person I thought of. I'm sure you did. Uh, West Effort. Just needs to win two more, just two more, and then they go home with a tie, which is not not a bad way to end this series, but certainly not a good way either. Yeah, and with how almost just how much of a stomping the first game was, it's it's better to be a tie than a straight up loss. Ryan, I think I have a suggestion for a lot of characters in this game. What's your suggestion? I think it would be advantageous for them if they wore armor, so bullets would not affect them as much. I believe they do wear armor in that you could buy that in the opening rounds. Yeah, but they're not wearing much armor. I mean, it, they're just wearing like t-shirts. Like one guy has a suit jacket on. Like, is that going to protect you that much? Because West Effort wins one more round to make it match point. 12 points for West Effort. One point away from winning this game. Oh, look. Uh, West Effort just needs one more round. One more kill. One more, four more kills actually, 20 seconds. West Maybe. Effort showing uh, good morale right now, jumping around, sort of having a good time right now. Yes, as House of Pain said, jump around, jump around, get up and get down. West Effort, five seconds away. We are within two minutes, maybe, of the ending of the match here. West Effort just trying to close this things out, not trying to stop as the sign advises them to do. A ball there of some sort. That Hips are moving in very fast. Hips are getting a quick kill. Trying to win this round and win this uh, this match for West Effort. Tie this series up. But ACIT hands are two quick kills. Hipster gets another kill though. Good evening takes out Grinch. 2v2 situation here. Jet and Viper versus Jet and Omen. Looks like if West Effort wants to end the game here, they have to earn it. Yes. 
And it will, I think it's going to come One down to the Jets remaining. here as Hipster gets another kill and a good evening and could come out with the ace here. Well, as close to an ace as you can get with only four players. Just has the ultimate out, has the knives out, trying to find the last kill and they do. I'm going to count that as an ace for West Effort to end the game there. Hipster with four kills, just a great round by him. West Effort going to get the tie here. Winning one and losing one. Not, not a bad situation for West Effort. Yeah, definitely not a bad situation. A lot better than just leaving here with a loss. Uh, despite, though, as the table shows, uh, Good Evening having uh, more points, I believe. Yeah, a higher score than everybody else. Still did not uh, lead to their victory. As it but seems, we are getting out of the game here. Oh. And uh, I think it was a, a decent game by West Effort overall. They did yeah. very well for what was expected of them. And uh, I think... They did, they, did, they did pretty well. Mm -hmm. And the tie even does come bittersweet with their tie being earned against a team who did have four players on their side. Who One may wonder if West Ever could reach such a result even if there were five players, especially Rice on the other team who was completely just dominating West Effort in the first game. Or they just could be a team specializing in playing against teams that only have four players, which it's not a bad thing to be, but certainly not a good thing. So West Effort here will have a record of one, zero, and two ties going into the fourth week of their competition. And that will be it for us today on the WDHS Esports Valorant live stream. We will be closing it out now. Ryan, do you have any parting words? Yeah, just, just a few. Uh, I think West Effort, just going over them again, I think it's just they need to get sort of a level ground for them. We saw very different ways of going about the game both this week and last week, and hopefully a strong strategy can be found, met, and continued on to bring about great success in yeah. esports. West Stafford, we wish them much luck in the, the weeks to come, and that will be it for us today. Also, Signing off. Well, also, well, I'd like to apologize for any uh, technical difficulties that may have occurred during the live stream. We apologize, but it's just how it is. That's it.